Yesterday, I think we were all shocked with the news of Girls Allowed, Girls Allowed singer Sarah Harding's death at 39. She revealed back in August 2020, or as I'd like to say, forced to reveal back in August 2020, that she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer. Her mother, Marie, announced her passing on Instagram, describing her as a beautiful daughter, um, a bright, shining star. Now, Frankie, you have been on tour with Girls Aloud before, haven't you? What, what, what was she like? Um, oh, she was, um, you know, just one of those people that's just full of so much energy. Mm. You know, she always seemed just bouncing around and having a good time. And she was lovely, really lovely. And Girls Aloud kind of gave the Saturdays our first big start. So our first thing was we went on tour with them. So, you know, it wasn't like we were amazing friends and I saw her all the time, but she, you know, she was part of giving yeah. us the start of our career and really supportive. And every time we saw her, she was so lovely and just so full of energy. And, um, it was a real big shock yesterday. I was kind of out with the family and one of my friends texted me to let me know. And I think I just assumed, because I'd heard the news that yeah. she was unwell and she'd kind of gone quiet. I thought that she was, get I just assumed yeah. she was getting better. So I think it was a bit of a shock. And I know a lot of people that know her, as in everyone that I worked with, worked with Girls Aloud. So I kind of had a lot of people to talk to yesterday. I know there's a lot of people really close to her that are feeling yeah. really sad today. And it's just horrible news, isn't I it? I think it's the shock so was, it was, it is, it's her age more than anything, because you kind of think, you know, I, I never thought I would get breast cancer and I did, but I was 54 when, I, when, I, when it hit me. And she's like 39 and she's already lost the fight. Mm -hmm. And I just, I find that so, heartbreaking that she didn't find it mm. um, in time to get the treatment that she needed. But exactly like you, Frankie, I, I, because she'd gone quiet a bit, I thought, oh, she's getting treatment and, and she'll be back. And then to get that news, and I read um, her mum's Instagram post oh, yesterday. So oh, I mean, it really did. It really hit me, actually. Because well, you she just used think, to live, well... You used to live quite close to each other, didn't you? Yeah, she used to live in my road and I used to see her around Camden a lot. And we were always like bumping into each other in, in restaurants and things like that. And she, I mean, she really, she really did live her life. Yeah. She, she loved life. And, and, you know, we're both a bit mad when we go out, a bit party and having a few drinks and everything. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't know her very well, obviously, but I did used to see her out. And, and I always used to think, what a, what a great time she just had, yeah. you know, and yeah. she, she, was, she was amazing and so beautiful. And I just, I can't actually believe even now that she's gone. No. Yeah, because I'm, I, you know, I think, I know I sort of said forced to announce, because she, she was going to hospital for treatment and she was having treatment and someone spotted her in the hospital and decided to reveal the fact that she'd been spotted in the hospital. And, you know, it was very, very unfair that she had to make that public when she really didn't, didn't want to. Yeah. And I really hope that her family are able to, 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 to grieve in the way that they want to grieve and the way that I they think, want her to be remembered. And I think, you know, she said that she struggled as to whether she would tell her story and whether she would, you know, release her story in a book. And she said, but if I could just save one life, then it would be worth it. And I think that's a really important message to get. I mean, Frank and I, a couple of years ago, we did a trek, didn't we, mm. to him later, to raise awareness about that, because I, I just didn't... I wasn't aware that breast cancer is one of the leading, I think only second to skin cancer, of deaths in women in the UK under 50. So that's so important that mm. that message has got out, because I think... Well, I know I have friends that were, that were diagnosed with breast cancer in their 20s, and, you know, have had a lump and not gone to see anyone and, and been told by them, oh, you're too young. Well, no, it's really important yeah. that we all... Like, my, my girls of 14 and 18 both know to check every month. As so soon have as you've you, got have breath, you talked it through with them? I have, only wow. because... I mean, I was ignorant, really, until, until the time that we did the trek. Test. I had no idea the numbers of women under 50. Oh, yeah, and, 20s and 30s, a yeah. lot of them were on that trek, yeah. weren't they, which shocked me. Yeah. But I still... Don't check mine. I still don't really, really know. I and don't is that understand you're how to do it. Mm. Find something. Because sometimes no, you know what? I had a lump on my neck once, and I ignored it for ages. And and I think I'd read 
oh, I think it might have been the check actually, made me go, no, stop this, stop ignoring it, go and get it checked, yeah. and it was fine. And afterwards I thought, I've put this off for so long. Had I put it off and mm. been diagnosed with something, yeah. I've been so angry with myself. And, I, and actually now, I don't know why. Why don't I check? Because I don't really know how to. I think well, a lot of women say that. Yeah. Don't actually know how to do it. <laughs> That's the thing. And the, anyway, yeah. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is that by doing that as you do, as your girls do, doing that and checking your breasts every single month could actually save your life. This isn't a sort of making Crazy, up stats. It? it could mm. save your life. And I think a lot of people don't know about doing this for long yeah. here as well, yeah. Uh, it, it's important for us to, to keep talking about situations such as this, and every time we do, um, some of you do get in touch to say that as a result of us talking about things like breast cancer, you have um, forced yourself to actually go and get checked out. Look, don't leave these things too late in any shape or form. Make sure that you do talk to somebody and that you do keep checking yourself every month. And uh, we've got lots of information um, online. If, if you want to, to look into anything that we've discussed, please do go to our website and you'll find lots of information there. Please do, just don't leave these things too late.